It's looking pretty good so far. We just gotta do some finishing touches. I love these freaking cans so much. <clears throat> so listen, this took three hours to move everything around, right? Mm -hmm. Guess where the camera was pointed? Not at us. I had it pointed at the freaking drywall. <laughs> 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 So the last thing he wants to do is block sand, but I'm going to tell him, well, you know, Eastwood, you know, you're the, you're the body man. Let's get the video for Eastwood. And basically I'm going to trick him into doing body work for as long as possible. Is this, uh, this is time lapse. It's, it's on time. Lapse. Okay. What's up, it's Casey from Casey's Customs. In this video, we paint the training day Monte Carlo, kinda. Oh, we build a paint booth. I also prank my dad and he gets me back because he's a jerk. Let's get to the footage. We are back on the beautiful 1979 Monte Carlo that I'm building to look exactly like the car from the movie Training Day. And as you can see, she's kind of wedged over there in a corner. I got a couple other projects in the way. The reason that I'm not pulling her out just yet is because a company has sent me a paint booth and I would like to paint her in a paint booth. Even though we have done some awesome paint jobs in this shop, if a company's given it to me to try out, I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm not gonna tell you their name just yet because I wanna get it put together to see the quality because if it's a complete piece of shit, I'm not gonna give them any promotion at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and start getting this thing put together and then we'll move some shit around and get her inside there because we gotta do some block sanding and then it'll be time to spray. Yeah, also this box here is just 200 pounds of solid steel bars. Damn. All right, let's get to work. Right off the bat, it tells you you need two of you. So that's not great. Uh, let's see what we can do. Uh, I'm not gonna start shitting on this company just yet. Cause this was free, but looks like their welder Stevie Wonder. They quite literally missed. I'm not worried about structure cause it's, it's good everywhere else. <laughs> That's not great. And unfortunately they all kind of look like that. So I'm gonna keep after it. This thing is huge. Like, holy shit. That's what she said. I have three of these. That's just one section. I have three of those. I mean, I don't know where I'm gonna put this thing. Holy hell. <laughs> Dang, I'm this big. <laughs> okay, let's keep at it. Holy crap, we got the roof done. <laughs> Look how big this thing is. I need dad to help me so we can lift it up and then put the lower posts in. And then I think those are the feet. Yeah, those are the feet right there. Actually going together pretty good. The only thing I think I'm gonna do to change it, because obviously we gotta modify some shit, even if it's brand new, is what I'm gonna do is I'll run sheet metal screws in all of these whenever they're kind of square, because I don't like how much play they have, which I think right now it has play so it can flex, but whenever I get it where I want it, I think I want those solid. I don't want anything moving around on me, but it don't look too bad so far. It is so much bigger than I thought it was. Holy shit. Oh, holy crap, that's big. <laughs> I didn't put the camera far enough back. <laughs> All right, so me and dad got it put up and we got one side on. This thing is huge. I had no clue it was this big when I started putting it together. I don't know where I'm gonna put this thing. Holy shit. What? <laughs> What the fuck? I don't know if I want to keep putting it together because I got to move some stuff around. I think what we're going to do, <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do. Maybe put it over against that garage? Holy cow. I keep having to stand back. Like, look how small the truck, that, that's a full-size truck. Well, it's a blazer, but 
Look how small it is in there. It's wide as shit too. All right, we're gonna figure it out. So I can't believe it, <laughs> but I had dad help me. I had to move all these cars around. This shit took like three hours. We got this moved over so I can finish it up, put the rest of the sides on and then drill holes for it. We moved the Model A, we moved the truck and we got the Monte Carlo inside so we can start doing body work. And uh, then we're gonna paint it. We're gonna probably roll this back over and paint it inside of it. But here's the funny thing. I had the camera pointing the wall <laughs> for three hours. I thought I had the time lapse set up and I had the camera pointing the fucking wall. At some point I had it set up and it was where it needed to be. And then the camera got turned and I didn't realize it. So a three hour time lapse <laughs> It's just staring at drywall. <laughs> so I can't give the old man too much shit. He's gonna be here in a minute. I'm gonna have to tell him. But uh, yeah, good times. I'm a fucking idiot sometimes, I tell you what. <laughs> so listen, this took three hours to move everything around, right? Mm -hmm. Guess where the camera was pointed? Not at us. I had it pointed at the fucking drywall. <laughs> it, did, <laughs> it did a three hour time lapse just looking at drywall like that. <laughs> so I wanted to get it on camera to say, I always give you shit about not recording. Well, I didn't get any did of this. Right I did hit the right button, but it was pointed at drywall. <laughs> I gotta do a couple more things to the paint booth. We're gonna put a pin in that for now. It's currently 10 o'clock at night. So I don't really wanna go assemble it when it's pitch black outside. The great news is the Monty is inside. I am so happy we can start sanding on it, get this damn thing painted. Right now though, I need to get it scooted over. I want it kind of more away from the wall so I can do a bunch of sanding. Also, I have not been able to find any better bumpers, so I need to get these bumpers properly mounted and uh, finish up doing some work in them. They have a couple little cuts here and there on them. So uh, yeah, let's do all that. Great news, I got the car moved over, got it jacked up. We can actually see it now with the camera where it's at. Also, I can work on it without tripping over shit. And I got the sand in this sealer. If you watched the last video, this is all sealed. This is a black tinted sealer and it's sanding really, really nicely, which is awesome because sometimes sealer does not sand at all. It just gums up paper. It becomes a giant pain in the ass, but this is working out very nicely, which is awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it sanded down with 320 and then we'll start doing some more body work. It's close, but definitely not perfect. I got a couple spots here and there. There's one right there. I got three or four on the hood. The hood was really, really bad. And then I have a couple more, I think, in my doors. Maybe my quarter panels. But I just got little spots here and there. Nothing crazy big that needs done. It's a lot, looking a lot better. I, I'm telling you, for like the last two or three weeks, I had been dreading sanding this sealer. Because sometimes it's just a giant pain in the ass and it'll clog paper. You'll go through a hundred sheets of paper just trying to get it all off. But uh, it's doing very well. So we're going to get to sanding. I'll probably go ahead and pop the wheels off. Because this shouldn't need to go outside anymore. I don't know. Maybe I won't in case I want to clean the shop out real well before we paint it. Or we might use the new paint booth. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to get it put together the rest of the way tomorrow, and we'll kind of see what it looks like, see how big it is. It looks plenty big, but we'll find out tomorrow. What I'm going to do tonight is keep sanding with this 320 to kind of get my flat spots squared away. What I don't want to do is start sanding any of these edges because I'll burn through and get back to bare metal. I kind of did right there a little bit. Um, I don't want to do that everywhere. It's, it's not the end of the world if I do, but uh, if you do it too much, you'll have to seal the damn thing in and I do not want to do that. So let's keep sanding, baby. currently one o'clock in the morning i gotta get up and take my kid to school tomorrow so we're definitely gonna stop sanding overall considering i'm only in it whatever three hours tonight i am very happy with how this is looking the body work obviously isn't perfect we got a couple spots but sanding really nicely and i am really hopeful we'll get this thing painted this episode i was not so sure uh there before also good news on the paint booth outside i got about 20 more minutes and that thing will be put up so that's nice we're gonna knock out a bunch of shit tomorrow but uh, i'm done for the night all right which one you rocking with baby the 67 impala from supernatural or the 79 Monte Carlo from the movie Training Day. I'm in love with both of them. And they're both going to be jet black. 
This one has a long way to go. This one's getting painted in a couple days. The next day. Okay, it is the next day. It is already getting hot. If you know me at all, you know I hate the summer. I'm, I actually, I love the summer. I hate when it's like 90 and above because that little piece of shit does not do very good to get this shop cool. I am definitely gonna be upgrading here pretty soon. But anyways, I don't know why I'm just going off on a tangent. What I wanna do, I wanna finish up this paint booth. I wanna get that side put on. And then also I wanna get this front put on to see what it looks like. I don't know if I can do the front by myself. I just realized I might need a ladder. But either way, I wanna put it together a little bit more and I wanna get it bolted down. We came with concrete screws or anchors rather. And even though I don't know that this is going to be exactly where it's going to stay, I want to at least put a couple in so it won't, you know, fly off in the wind. So we're going to do that real quick, and then we're going to get back on this. So far, my opinions of this thing are pretty great. I actually like it. I wasn't so sure at first, but uh, it's been up for like a week now, and it looks pretty awesome. And there is definitely enough room in there to paint. All right, let's get it put together real quick and uh, screw some shit into the floor or the concrete. Okay, I can't get the top put up until I get a ladder because it's so damn tall. But I said when I started this video, I would give a review on this. And if I didn't like it, I wasn't going to post the information. I'm here to say I do like it. I think it's going to work out great. I'm actually kind of more happy to have it as storage than I am a paint booth. We're probably still going to use it for the paint booth, obviously. But uh, yeah, I'm okay with it. I like it. Here is the info. Here is the company name. Here's how much it cost. Richard, put it right here in my hand. So I would say on a scale of one to 10, I would probably give it like a nine. It's not bad at all. I like the fact that it has a floor in it. At first I thought that was dumb because I was like, why would you want a floor in it? Well, if you were using it for a strictly paint booth, it would be real nice to have that sealed up at the bottom. So when you roll your car in, it is a you know legitimate containment area. And I got two box fans. They didn't come with the box fans, but the box fans are like 20 bucks each. I got two of them. And what you do is we'll have a filter here and it comes with the filters. The filters are, oh, I must have put them up, but the filters fit both of those perfectly. And then what you do is you'll have two fans on the other side. So it'll actually be filtered in and filtered out air, which is pretty badass. So yeah, I like it. I think it's pretty good. The only thing that I wish was different about it, I didn't love the welds on the pipes and some of the little interconnecting pieces, I had to move them around before they would click in right. So it has a little bit of play in it. What you could do is run, you know, sheet metal screws in it so that it didn't have any play in it, but that's about the only thing. And that's not as bad as I thought for what it is. If I would have known it was this size, I would have assumed it would have been like two grand, you know, that lean to over there, that was like, obviously that's metal. This isn't metal, but those are like four grand or whatever they are, three grand. So the fact that I think this one was 700 bucks or whatever it was is uh, pretty damn nice. So, all right, enough of that. <laughs> they did give it to me for free. So if you think, I, I don't think I'm biased. I always try and give a review you know, an honest review either way. I don't really give a shit if stuff's free. I've got a million things in here for free that I've never made a video about. <laughs> so I will say I do like it. But enough of that. This is the star of the show. Let's get to sanding. Oh, also I got some funky Bondo. Let me show you this. All right, check this Bondo out. It apparently goes on purple and dries green. Now, here's the only problem. It's pink right now. So I assume, yeah, okay, okay. So you mix the blue hardener then it's going to apply purple and dry green. I have never seen this shit before. Let's try it out. All right. Here's the color mixed up. Kind of purpley. It's kind of bluey. I got it put on the car. It's super hot today, so I don't know if it's going to turn very quickly. Or it should turn really quick, actually. But yeah, you can kind of see. A little bluish. Kind of starting to get a little hard. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Weird shit. All right. Check it out. It's not really green. It's kind of green. It's more of a a purple to blue. Here's the funny thing. The old man's coming out of the shop. I told him, I said, hey, I want to show you something. Eastwood has a new block sander that sucks the dust out from the sander. And he said, no, nah. he's been block sanding at work for like the last three weeks. They're building big cranes at his job. So he's just block sanding for eight hours a day. So the last thing he wants to do is block sand. But I'm going to tell him, well, you know, Eastwood, you know, you're the you're the body man. Let's get the video for Eastwood. And basically, I'm going to trick him into doing body work for as long as possible. We're going to see how it goes. I don't know. He might not. He might not take the bait. He might. We're going to see how it is. And uh, I'll let you know in the next video. All right. The old man's coming in. I'm going to tell him I don't know how this shit works. I'm going to do that. Hey, Hello. check this out. Eastwood sent this block sanding thing. I don't know how it works. I want you to look at it. Uh-huh. 
I haven't messed with it yet. I, don't, I haven't done anything yet. Oh, it's got a vacuum on it. It's got a vacuum on it, and then the sandpaper has holes in it. Oh, okay. So what does okay. it do? It sucks the dust up while you're... Yeah. You want to try it? Sure. Is this... Uh, it's just time lapse. It's, it's on time lapse? Okay. Don't cuss. So you've been... Uh, <laughs> you well, know. I was started... I was just trying to block... I was just not blocking, but I was trying to sand down the black because uh, it's just a sealer. Uh-huh. And I just wanted to do all that before I started doing body work. You're going to say something about a panel. <laughs> <laughs> One panel at a time. Of course. Yeah. And then when you're done with that panel, <laughs> don't go anywhere else until you're done with that panel. That's boring. Though. And don't go hopping all around here. It looks like we already did some yeah, hopping around. Yeah, we did. <laughs> all right, show me the shit works. Oh, wait, here. We got to turn that on, right? I guess. I don't know. So, I have some amazing news. He ended up block sanding for like 30 minutes. <laughs> I had the camera running. He said, is the camera on? I said, oh, it's just time lapse. You know, it can't hear you, no big deal. He knows what time lapse is. And he was like, oh, okay. And he was just sanding for like 25 minutes. And he goes, is this enough? Is this probably enough? I said, eh, maybe a little bit more. He went another five minutes and then he realized I was full of shit. He goes, you're fucking lying to me, aren't you? I said, yeah. <laughs> so he said, I'm done. <laughs> so he just left. Good news is he got my hood basically done. It's got a couple more spots and he also got the back of the roof done. So I got, you know, 30 free minutes of body work from an actual guy who knows how to do body work. I'm pretty goddamn happy. Also, he told me, make sure you work a panel at a time. He always bitches about that. I don't like doing it that way because it takes way too long to just work on one panel. So I'm gonna go back to just sanding the entire car and then we'll start doing body work on each panel. But for now, I need to at least get all of the black off of there. So we're gonna hit it with some 320 and uh, get to work. So. Back to time lapse. <laughs> Okay, I got all the flat surfaces sanded down with 320, and I blocked a couple spots that were a little wavy, but overall, it didn't look too bad. I have way more dents than I thought I did. I think at the beginning of the video, I said, I probably only have four or five left. Well, there's four or five on every panel, <laughs> but none of them are big, none of them are giant dents, and a lot of these I actually probably could have filled in with spot putty, because it's basically just pinholes, but I'm going to end up doing that later anyway, so that's the only reason I didn't do it, but they're just little stuff. There is a lot of them, though. We're not going to, we're not going to say that there isn't but the good news is these shouldn't be too hard because these are all my flat surfaces so i can block them down super easy the pain in the ass ones are stuff in these curves you cannot use a da on these you got to block them out because it just it doesn't get in there very well if you use a da you'll just make it all ripply so that's what I need to get to now. Now, when I say these need block sanded, you think block. Well, a block can technically be anything. Whenever you're doing flat surfaces, you obviously want it to be a flat block. But if you're doing curved surfaces, you can kind of use anything. This is actually a radiator hose, but since it's a silicone piece, it's really firm. It doesn't give much. And check this out. That matches that curve absolutely perfect. And another one that I'm having trouble with is right there. It matches that pretty damn good too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put sandpaper on this and then start blocking all these down. You know what? I didn't check down here though. We might not. Are we going to get lucky? Shit, that's pretty good too. So <laughs> I'm just going to end up using this all the way around. You can really block sand with anything. You just always want to match your curve. And some companies sell blocks that actually have curve to them. I think you can adjust them where they get more curve or roll or whatever you need because you just want it to, you, whatever you're sanding with, you will transfer that to the panel. So I know this is perfectly straight. Now it's round, but I mean, it's perfectly flat. So it's going to work out perfect. So stop stalling and get to work, damn it. <laughs> Tina is way fucking cooler than paint. Oh, and on and on we go. When it stops, nobody knows. Okay, end of day three, I think, of sanding the old girl. Tomorrow I wanna get the rest of my body work done. 
I'm gonna get some primer in a couple of these little spots and uh, I don't know, maybe shoot some more black sealer over the primer. I don't know, I'll see exactly what dad wants to do. But tomorrow, I think I can get this thing basically ready to paint late tomorrow evening or maybe whatever it would be, Thursday morning, Thursday night. I don't know, one of those nights. <laughs> also, this is this week's video. So we're gonna be cutting her right down to the very end on this one, but that's fun. Sometimes we do that, but. She's really looking good. It's so hard to see body work, you know, on a video, but uh, she's looking pretty goddamn good. Great news. I got the body filler all sanded that I put on yesterday. Found a couple more spots, more body filler. Obviously, it's just a never-ending cycle, but I'm getting it really, really close. It looks very, very nice, and it's getting real, real good. I think I probably still need to shoot primer on all these new spots, and maybe even black sealer again. I don't know, I'm gonna talk to dad. But what I'm gonna do right now is start sanding my bumpers. I have not been able to find any better bumpers than these, so we're gonna rock with these. I did a bunch of work to them in the last video, and they should just need scuff down like I did the rest of the body, but we're gonna find out right now. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so I got the car basically 99% ready. There's two spots I want your help with on the hood because it's a bitch. And then we're basically ready to spray. Is that doable? Can you do that? Can you do the yeah. paint tonight? I got too much shit going on. Well, let me take a look at it here and we'll, okay. we'll see if we're getting close. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, it's ready. I mean, it's ready? the fender door quarter panel is all done. Roof's done, trunk's done, the hood has like two spots. I didn't know if we needed to hit it with the sealer or not, but really there's not much Bondo. I think you could go ahead and spray it. Okay, let me look it over. Okay. And then I'll let you know, you gotta go. I gotta go, yep, I gotta okay. go. I gotta go, I'm just gonna set the camera up and then you let me know what you need. Hey, what's going on, are we ready to paint? Uh, it's got a few spots, it's not ready yet. Okay. Uh, I put some quality stickers on some areas there. Just go ahead and take care of those few spots and then uh then we'll be ready to paint okay is it yeah i'll go take a look at them and uh i'm gonna try and if if you ran out of time i'm gonna try and get those fixed and then spray it tonight is yeah. there is there a, or i can is, or i can help you tomorrow <laughs> is there a lot or is it not too bad oh no no it's not bad at all all right i'll go take a look at it then <laughs> what an asshole Look at all these quality stickers. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn it. <laughs> I'm so pissed because I'm running out of time on this video. But uh, that is funny. I will give him that. <laughs> Son of a bitch. He said on the phone, he said, it's not ready for paint. You got a couple spots you need to check. I put a quality sticker on him, so just check them and, and then feather those out, and then we can paint. Well, uh... It looks like he put about 50 of them on the car. Oh, yeah, there's even more over here. <laughs> oh, shit. God. And worse than that, it looks like he probably only spent 30 minutes sanding. Now, granted, I did tell him it was almost ready for paint. He just needed to work a little bit. He probably needed to work like five hours <laughs> to make it ready for paint son of a bitch i'm not out of time too man it's thursday at like 11 p.m right now but uh yeah shit i don't know what i'm gonna do yet i'm kind of speechless so um i did trick him into block sanding the other day for the eastwood block sander for probably 30 minutes and then i wanted him to work like another couple hours today to get it ready for paint and then i was hoping we could spray it tonight you know, and then have kind of like a cool video of us spraying it. And uh, that doesn't look like that's going to happen. This is hilarious, though. I'm not mad at him. That's what I get for trying to, like, push him into doing way too much work. Um, what I am going to do, though, is get the rest of this Bondo sanded down. I'm going to block the shit out of it. I'm just going to block all night as much as I can. And uh, then I'm going to tape off the windows, probably take the wheels off, and shoot this with the black sealer I have. And that black sealer, not only will it look exactly like the paint is going to look, it'll cover up some of these scratches and shit. Uh, I am go. I'm, I'm at 320 right now, so there shouldn't be many scratches, but some of the Bondo is at like 180, so it's going to have a little bit. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm just... We're going to sand until Richard needs the video. Richard technically needed the video, I think, six hours ago, <laughs> but that's all right. 
He screws me over all the time. I'm going to screw him over this time. Um, he's a cop. Anyways, uh, yeah, let's get to work. <laughs> It is currently 12.40 a.m. Friday morning. <laughs> this video is going to be posted at 11 a.m. on Friday. Hopefully, it should be. And I've already put in 100 hours this week, and I haven't even started working on Friday yet. I, I say all that to say, I hope you fuckers know I love you, because I do this shit for you guys. And naturally... The worst part about paint is the math. Good news is, I bought a hundred pack of the mixing cups, so they got lines on them. Now trust me, you can still mess it up, but it makes it hard. Where are we at? Four? No, that's six to one. Four to one? Five. Wait. Oh. Oh, no, no, okay. Right? So then this needs to go. Why do I have an activator and a hardener? Should I just fuck up? Why do I have an activator and a hardener? Well, that's, that's all the paint I have left, so I'm hoping I didn't just mess something up. So, I made a speech about how you can't fuck this up because I got the right cups. Well, you can if you mix the wrong shit. I could have swore when I mixed up this tent, it came with hardener, and I thought this was a thinner. I wasn't really paying attention. And then I was like, wait, wait, wait a minute. After, naturally, I had this brain fart. Also, it's fucking one in the morning. Uh, I just added hardener to it, and it needed activator. So, I don't know if this is going to dry now. It technically should. Maybe it'll dry too fast. Maybe it won't dry. I added the sealer. I went ahead and added the sealer to it. What I think I'm going to do, even though it's crazy late, I think I'm going to spray a little panel, wait 20 minutes, see if it dries before we spray it all over the car. I cannot believe I just did that. Also, dumbass, look at the number. 460? That goes with 460, obviously. Technically, I think an epoxy hardener shouldn't hurt your sealer, but I don't know. I could be completely wrong. Son of a bitch. Great news. Did a couple test pieces. I mean, five minutes ago and it's already tacky. Damn near already dry in some spots, so we didn't ruin it. I mean, I'm pretty sure. We could still fuck something up, of course, but let's get to spraying, baby. I got shit to do. It's so looking pretty good so far. We just gotta do some finishing touches. I love these freaking cans so much. That don't look bad either. I don't like saying this. I definitely don't like saying this on camera, but uh, the old man's definitely right. It's nowhere near ready. The fucking hood, it has enough waves in it to classify itself as an ocean. And then the trunks, the trunk's okay. The roof is real bad. Uh, the roof basically needs blocked all the way down. So, son of a bitch. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. I'm happy I got another round of primer sealer on it. And the good news is the 30 hours I put on it this week definitely cleaned up a lot of it. But it's nowhere near ready for perfect paint. Also, black is a bitch because it just shows everything. When I first start putting down the sealer, I'm like, oh shit, there's a spot, there's a spot, there's a spot. So yeah, it is what it is. But uh, ah, it never feels good to say that he's right. It just hurts my soul. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let this shit dry. Check it out, it is the next morning. I gotta get this footage to Richard right now. But the old man's right. There's a couple spots on the hood. We got a couple spots on the roof. Uh, that, that stupid crease is a pain in the ass because they really beat on this hood. But check this out. When you look down the side, she ain't too bad. Oh, it's close. It's real close. 
I'm gonna let this shit cure for, you know, a couple, it's, it's dry now, but I'm gonna let it cure for a little bit. I'm gonna work on something else. Body work really upsets me, so I don't love doing it at all. Give it some time. I'm gonna get his help on it. He's the body guy. He's the paint guy. She's really close. Damn, that don't look bad at all, man. This should definitely be the last time we need to do this primer. One more block down, get a couple little spots out, and get some paint on this old girl. Damn, she looks good. I'm so excited. It is currently 6.30 a.m. on Friday, the day we are uploading this. 11 a.m. on Fridays is our usual upload time. This is by far the closest we've ever winded down some footage before it's getting uploaded, but I really wanted to see this thing in color. We didn't get the paint done. We did get our paint booth built, and not only that, after I did get this painted, there's a lot of dust in it, so I think we will end up using the paint booth. I wasn't sure either way. The main reason I didn't want to do it is because it's hot as hell in there, but I'm hoping the couple fans I have will make it a little bit more bearable, or we need to paint it at night, because that's the only downside I see to it is it is basically like a greenhouse in there, but it will be perfect and we won't have any dirt. So the next video, we'll go ahead and get some fans in it, see how it works. And uh, yeah, we will definitely be painting this on the next upload, I swear. I do not care how long the video is. Uh, we're gonna get this damn thing painted and uh, get it put back together. I am ready to drive this baby. I love this car so much. If you are not already subscribed, please hit that button now. If you are subscribed, but you don't have your post notifications turned on, make sure you click that bell. You'll be notified every single time I post a new video. For the coolest merchandise on the planet, go to caseyscustoms.com. Also check it out, we got some new artwork coming up. Sometimes violence is the answer. <clears throat> Double kill. <laughs> kind of my motto i also got a if you squint it's mint video coming up my graphic designer is working on it right now that's going to be a great one so check that stuff out on caseyscustoms.com thank you very much for watching please like share comment all the good stuff they tell you to do with the end videos and check out some of my other videos peace i love you